Roger Federer is the complete professional on and off the court, but it's been a long journey, one that began as soon as he could stand. Well, the first memory I can just uh, recall him just loving to walk around with a, a racket and a ball. Yeah, he was restless. I mean, he was a boy which he had he had hell of a, a life in him, and he actually always wanted to play. He wanted to run around. I mean, mainly he wanted to play with the ball. He used to spend many hours at the tennis ball, just you know, playing, keeping himself busy. And uh, for him, the 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 ball was a great partner. And uh, at the age of three, he he could already spend hours just knocking against a wall or a garage door. Roger was more like a stroppy mini McEnroe than the always composed Mr. Cool we know today. His parents were not impressed. On court, you know, if it didn't go his way, then of course he, he did lose his temper and uh, occasionally throw the racket or even cried or uh, uh, he was highly upset when he did lose a match. He used to, you know, he could cry for half an hour after a match, which was disturbing for parents, you know, and uh, also behaviour on court. And uh, we really, we, n we were never angry at Roger if he lost a match, but we were really always angry at him because of his behaviour. He was horrible sometimes. He was throwing the racket to the net or to the back and swearing on the court. Sometimes we felt really ashamed. He learned the hard way. He had to hit his head a few times, and I think uh, this is the way you, you learn by mistakes. And uh, I used to tell him, you know, your bad behaviour is like sending an invitation to your opponent and uh, saying, yeah, I am, beat me. I'm really to beat today, so go ahead. You know, I said, I said to him when he used to drive home, I said, well, you know, this guy just understood it because you were sending him an invitation like every two games, you know, due to your behaviour. My parents obviously have had a huge impact, clearly. I mean, I think they're the best parents in the world, like every son thinks they are. I mean, they've been so helpful in my, in my life, you know, as a person and then as a player as well. They were never too pushy, but they were always in, interested in what I was doing and how well I was doing. And all of a sudden, he became actually much more matured and could concentrate much more on the game and uh, using the energy actually there where he needed it instead of uh, behaving so, so, so horrible on the court. This is a quality I, I really admire uh, and uh, especially at his young age that a person can be like that but uh, I don't know, that's him. <laughs> Everybody was telling us this boy was unbelievable, gifted, and he was talented, but we never went beyond that. We always tried to take it step by step. As from the age of 14, he had to, uh, he had to do a lot himself. We didn't believe it, that he would make the, the professionals till he, he beat some of the good players, the top 100, or, and, uh, and when he did like beat Moya, I think, at the age of 18. Well, that's just...